Hello and welcome to Linux Reviews for You. Today I'm going to go over Linux Mint 13 KDE version. And yes, it's uh, been released finally. And um, I was going to review this um, when it came out, but uh, I've been busy lately with uh, work and all. So here we are. Uh, I've got it running in my virtual machine and um, well, it's, it's beautiful, what can I say? Um, you get loads of uh, applications with it, and I think they've chosen these applications very, very well. Um, I mean, you even get, um, well, you get VLC, you get a good disk burner, and you also get a screencasting software as well, so yep, screen capture program. So um, I I'm just gonna go over what you get uh, as usual. KDE, um, very very panels and um, your your desktop uh, icons are always in the box here where you can create new folders just like that so new folder and you've got the um, widget section here where you can add anything so just drag and drop it in and now I've got a nice huge clock just there so yeah, uh, nothing really changed in KDE, but uh, Linux Mint have done really well in making it work, making it smooth, um, and they've chosen a lot of applications that are very good. I mean, a distribution have has got a um, choose applications well because you you don't want to install something in what half an hour and then it's just got nothing and then you're trying to root around in the software center installing packages installing programs that's kind of annoying sometimes it's okay to get the odd few every now and again but uh, if it comes with nothing you like at all then you're pretty screwed. So what I'm going to do is, uh, obviously here's the uh, Linux Mint start button here and it leads up to the uh, KDE open start page. So you've got favourites, applications, computer, recently viewed and leave with your logout, lock, save, session, switch user, restart and shut down. So all basic KDE stuff. Uh, notice how it nicely glides along. So applications. In graphics you get a document viewer, drawing program, lever, office, you get the GIMP. Wow, uh, don't see many distros these days with GIMP pre-installed. Um, yeah, an image viewer, lens calibrator, uh, photo management, and case snapshot uh, screen program. So, back to all internet, you get KBit, KTorrent, uh, Blue Devil, uh, Bluetooth, um, a download manager, KGET. Uh, a feed reader, instant messenger, um, IRC client, mail client came out, and uh, a VPN client. Okay. So multimedia, you get your Amarok audio player, your uh, K3B disk burner, caffeine media player, VLC media player, and your KMix sound mixer. Um, uh, where was I? Office. Oh, no, did I go past that? 
no, no. Okay, I uh, lost my head a bit there. Uh, so you get a contact manager, document viewer, drawing program, the LibreOffice suite, uh, personal organizer and manager, um, and presentation and spreadsheet and uh, LibreOffice as well. So settings, uh, pretty generic. You've you've got. Uh, oh wow! You even get um, Open JDK um, Seven installed. That's amazing because that's something I can recommend you do when you install any distro. First things first, go to a manager and uh, install Open JDK. So anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, to the software manager and see how pretty it is because uh, well Linux Mint has always had yep this simple uh, simple software manager to install anything you want so let's go um, let's go internet let's see if we can find Chrome Oh well, you even get Skype in the um, software center. Normally, you'd have to go to their website. So, yes, they've done very, very well to um, to uh, make this uh, distribution very, very out of the box. Uh, don't have to do much and that's why Linux Mint are up there and are well known and they are really good for a beginning operating system so if I go install Opera let's see what happens so yes uh, it's going ahead and gonna install Opera um, classic KDE minimize maximize and close buttons just there uh, nice inward effect as usual and uh, what else did I want to uh, go through oh yes the um, the updates in oh where was it settings update manager so Obviously every distribution needs an update manager and they're pretty generic stuff but I thought I'd just give this a go because obviously the Ubuntu um, update manager has always been the same. Here it is. Should update really. Um, but yeah, it, it gives you a nice level of clearance of how important these updates are so free free so f two and three so I suppose um, three is slightly more important and two is you could get away not with uh, installing it they're all your Firefox add-ons and updates so <coughs> all in all uh, this uses obviously the Dolphin file manager. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it does beat Compiz. So um, it, it isn't all that bad. Uh, you've obviously got your button to go root here as well, all your root folders. So everything is easily accessible. Now I think um, <coughs> that just about covers everything today really. Um, I'll go desktop settings just to have a little look at some of the pictures you get. Always like to see nice wallpapers. Uh, you've been to a very good at nice wallpapers. yes that's a uh, that's very very pretty so thank you everyone for watching um, as usual please like and subscribe um, I'm on Twitter now so please check my Twitter page out at, at Linux reviews for you and 
um, keep the likes and subscribes coming and keep the requests coming. I'm happy to help. Thank you. Goodbye.